This book right here, The Game by Neil Strauss, is generally believed to be like the godfather of the pickup artist industry. So if you're not familiar with pickup artistry, it's the whole idea of how men can get better at picking up women. Now in some cases that means nefarious things like just sleeping with as many as you possibly can. In other cases it's just a matter of having the confidence to actually ask for a number or move into a date or whatever the next situation may be in that in that process. But in the game, you know, I like this book a lot. Neil talks about some different things in here, but one of the concepts that he brings up a few times is around called peacocking. And as a loan officer, a lot of times we are bland. Um, we want to blend in. Um, we want to look the same as everybody else. But in peacock, peacocking is this idea that you want to stand out a little bit, right? In pickup artistry, it's like if you're going to the bar and you're going to wear like a, a weird hat or have really big earrings or maybe it could be like having your fingernails painted. It could be a weird necklace or something. It's like something that's going to kind of draw attention, make you stand out, right? Um, in, in the mortgage space, if you're going to do peacocking you know, to realtors, it's almost like how do you just make yourself unique and identifiable, right? Uh, maybe for me, I don't think necessarily this is peacocking, but my beard kind of makes me identifiable, right? People are like, oh, that's, that's Nick from Facebook or whatever, right? That's the Legion of Loan Officers guy. And so people, people you know, kind of pick up on that. Um, for me, in some way, peacocking is the fact that I just wear like camo shorts and Sanook sandals to business events when everybody else is wearing uh, business attire, right? Um, but it's like if you go into a room and it's a sea of blue and black suits, how do you stand out in that environment? And, um, and, and same thing, right? As a loan officer, a lot of times people are just talking about what makes them the same as everybody else. Not They don't have something that makes them stand out, right? They're just talking about rates, communication, closing on time, these kind of things, service, you know? Everybody's like, I have great service. Okay, cool. Um, but there's nothing that like draws attention, makes them stand out. You know, you think about a peacock where the term comes from, right? The, the term peacocking comes from the idea of the male peacock where it goes shh and all of a sudden it fans out and it's this beautiful, attractive thing to the females, um, just like turkeys, you know, turkeys do the same thing. I mean, a lot, there's other birds that um, do something similar, but it's essentially to, to draw attention, have somebody else start the conversation with you. Um, we were at an event in Las Vegas recently, and one of the speakers was wearing some like sequins or uh, Swarovski crystal Dolce & Gabbana shoes, right? So as he's going on stage, the shoes are like crazy bright and, you know, and, and everybody is talking about the shoes. And that's and a perfect example, right? That was a peacocking moment where, and he said like he intentionally, excuse me, <coughs> He says that he intentionally does that. And the reason that he wears those shoes is because he's naturally a little bit of an introvert. Sorry, got something in my throat there. And um, it's weird for him to go to these events and have to start conversations. So instead, he allows the shoes to create the conversation. So it's something to look at. Wow. It's something to look at in your own business, right? Is are you doing some? You know, are you doing anything to stand out, like create a presence, be remembered, be known, be kind of be seen, or is everything you're doing kind of blending in and making you similar as as everybody else? Again, this is coming from the idea of peacocking from the game. There's actually some other cool. You know, this is like the first book he put out. There's some other cool uh, versions of um, of some of the stories that he tells and some different things like that. But something to consider, right? Are you doing anything? Is there, are you wearing something? Are you doing something that is going to make you stand out, memorable, um, be seen, have people create conversations with you versus you having to create conversations with them? And I think that's just one example of, of how pickup artistry crosses over into the mortgage loan officer attracting a realtor space as well. You know, Especially when you look at the average loan officer is, is a male. The average female or the average realtor is a female. Again, you know, doesn't mean that's always the case, but if we're just talking about laws of averages here, and in that case, it's definitely effective. Also, if you've been married a long time and you just aren't really good at 
having game anymore, you know, maybe pick up the game or pick up some other, you know, pick up artistry things. Um, again, it's a topic that we hit on a lot inside the Legion of Loan Officers because I think it's just really applicable to most loan officers in the way that they're trying to attract female realtor partners. So I'm Nick Carpenter. That's what I got for you today is are you standing out a little bit? Are you doing something to draw some attention so people want to talk to you? Or are you blending in and then you're having to create all the conversations and, and you're not as memorable? So uh, hopefully you subscribe. You know, Give me a comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this idea. If you have other questions, ask them here and I'll come back and answer those questions on video. Hope you guys are doing awesome. See you next time. Later.